Yeah. No, no, but that's what it is in, out in the oh, bay. Yeah, like yeah. whales. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming. We'll get started here. I don't want to hold up dinner. I know everybody's probably hungry on a Friday night. So we have a great buffet tonight and some more d'oeuvres. Uh, most of you have obviously been in the trunk show. Um, how long will he be here, Carl? Until 8 o'clock. Until 8 o'clock. So some great things up there. Uh, they're always very – Peter Millard does a great job for us. So anything you can do to get ready for the summer clothing-wise is great. So um, you know, the, the purpose of tonight, we're going to hold these meetings for all new members as we progress into the summer. Uh, we'll do cocktail parties, and you're more than welcome to come to any of them you want. Yeah, not mandatory, but uh, you know, as we get new members in, the, the referral program has been great for us. So, so we'll, we'll hold these uh, every month. You'll see some notifications, but uh, it's pretty much the same thing going to be covered each month. So, but uh, you know, if you want a refresher or some nice hors d'oeuvres, come on in. You know, so, uh, the, so the purpose of tonight is, is to accomplish a couple of things. One, to introduce uh, myself to, to the new members, some of our staff members. Um, you know, talk about some policies, some procedures. We don't want it to be preachy, and we, we promise not to be that way. Um, but also some of the amenities, some of the opportunities you can have here at the club, you know, to make your membership better, uh, to make it more encompassing. You know, you know, sometimes we do hear some negatives that, you know, oh, I didn't know you had tennis courts, or oh, I didn't know there was a sauna in the men's room, and we don't like that. You know, so you, we want you to know everything, and so that you can make the most out of your membership. So hopefully, with all of our uh, presenters here today, at the end, you'll know, you know what's available and what works best for you. But uh, you know, as 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 we speak for everything, we can speak here for hours. The one thing, the one message, if you can take away is. We're all here because we love to be here. You know, any one of us can work at Applebee's or Chili's or Resort Golf Course. We're here at Sunny Hills because we love to be here. We love the members of the club. We love the area. Many, many of the staff members, I'll go through some of them, have been here for many, many years because we truly love to be here. So anything we can do to make your membership better, please let us know. If there's something you, that you've seen somewhere else, something you, that could better, make better for you, please don't hesitate to ask. You're, you're not, you know, some people say, oh, I hate to ask, I hate to bother you. We want that. We welcome that. Because so many of our great ideas have come from one suggestion from one member. And we'll take it, and it's better as the club, makes the club stronger. So please don't hesitate. Um, myself, Carl, Tara, anybody that you see, let us know any way we can make the membership better for you. So, so really appreciate that. Um, you know, some of these policies, all these policies have been emailed or mailed to you in your packets. Um, they're also on the website as well. But as they change, you know, we'll, we'll change them on the website and through different communications. And so that's kind of where I want to start with some of our communications. Yeah, we do so many things here at the club. We're very proud of them. We, we want to get the message out to the membership. So, so we, you know, one, it's not a one-size-fits-all. You know, it used to be mailing was a great thing, then email. You know, this day and age, it's so many different communication methods. So what we do is we do, we do several. One is our website, you know, sunnyhannacountryclub.com. Yeah, there's some login instructions in your packet that, you, that you've got. So I encourage you to go on there. Um, one for billing. You, you can pay your bill online. Um, but we also have, under the Member Central section, we, have, we put the club's finances on there. So a after the board meeting every month, we put the monthly income statement balance sheet up there so you can see the financial health of your club. We also put um, the minutes from the board meeting so you can see what's discussed at the Board of Governors meeting. So you can always stay in tune with what's happening at the club, and then you can ask any questions based on those. So we, and then and throughout the year, like I said, if we make a policy change, if we want to change the bylaws, we'll put notices up there too. So, so as you go in there, you can log in there. You can log into 4Ts to make your, your reservations. So... Just slide over to the member central section. You can see everything that's going on at the club and, and the various uh, opportunities there. Um, from there, we do a newsletter. We do a monthly newsletter. Uh, we email that out. We try to get it out before the first of the month. So we email that out to everybody. If you don't have your emails to us, I think most do, please email me or, or talk to Chrissy at the front desk. We'll get you on there. If you have multiple emails, you know, wives, kids, we'll, you know, it's, it's unlimited how many emails we can do. So the more the barrier. So please share any email addresses with us. Uh, yeah, it's a great tool. Um, then we also do some printed newsletters as well. So there's a handful of printed if you don't have email or you don't have access to a computer. We have those at the front desk as well for you to pick up. Uh, and in the newsletter, there's a, we do two months of a calendar. So we do the current month. So May's newsletter has May's calendar in it. It also has June. So it helps you plan out you know, a little bit ahead of time. So hopefully that, that can help the membership. Another great tool we use, we, we pretty much post every day on Facebook. You know, Carl posts a lot. I post a lot. The chef does videos. Mark will post pictures of the co course. So if you're, if you're a Facebook user, we use that a lot here. Uh, both for information and just for fun, to let you know what's happening at the club. You know, um, you know we'll post during the winter time some snowstorms and whatever, just to kind of keep you informed of what's happening. We do a weekly e uh, email on Mondays. We call it the events. Uh, basically, just a synopsis of the week ahead. We put the Chef's Daily Specials. We put the various events happening in the week, Carl, Carl's golf tournaments. So once again, if you check your email Monday, Tuesday, you you'll know exactly what's going on for the week. You, know, you can ask any questions or sign up from there as well. And then we do uh, flyers. You'll see flyers all over the club. I'm sure you've already seen them. Yes, yeah, so we try to hit flyers pretty good. We uh, recently have done, you haven't seen many, but we're involved with the mass calling program. 
I try to only keep that. I don't want to bug you with calls. You know, it's, nobody likes those. So I try to keep those for like membership meetings, things like that, where I want to reach out to the whole membership. So I'll place a call and you might get a, like a robo call, as we call it from me. But it's a great communication tool. And we also have group texting. So there's flyers all around the club. If you want to get on the group texting, text uh, 292929 to Sunny Hannah, and you'll be involved in that group texting as well. So and once again, I try to limit those. And then finally, uh, the Board of Governors has done a great job. We started this last year of doing quarterly membership meetings. Um, we used to do just one meeting with the board, the annual meeting. Now we do them every quarter. So you have to see the, the financial health of the club, the successes, the failures, um, if we do have any uh, bylaw proposals or anything like that. So, so we encourage you to you know, keep an eye out for those and attend those. They're really, really informative. And the, 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 the conversations we have from those meetings are, are phenomenal. So I, I love them. I love that opportunity. <coughs> so, so we try to get the, the message out as much as possible. Um, you know, and, and with that, you know, it's not a one-man show. Obviously, it's not a two-man show. We have a great staff here. Um, to introduce a couple of the staff, there are some you'll be hearing from tonight. Uh, myself, I've been here for 13 years at various positions. I'm from Pittsburgh, originally from the Pittsburgh area. My family's from Myersdale, so my dad got a job in Pittsburgh before I was born, so that's why I'm a Pittsburgh guy. But most of my family's from Myersdale, so right over the hill. Um, Carl has been with us for about five years now, I believe. He's from Hawaii, so Myersdale, Hawaii, the same thing, so we love him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he's easy there. But uh, Tara, Tara Carr's our events planner. Um, she's been here for about five years. Um, born and raised in Johnstown, spent some time in New York, so she has a, then came back to Johnstown a couple years back, so we're very thankful to have her back and with us. Bobby Helsel, he's our head chef. Bobby's been with us for 30 plus years. So Bobby's been here, started as a dishwasher, worked his way up through all the ranks in the kitchen, doing a phenomenal job for us. Probably one of the most dedicated employees I've ever worked with, not even Sunny Hannah, just period. He loves this club, loves the members, loves the staff, really, really is dedicated to Sunny Hannah. So um, great, great guy. Uh, Maria Lick, she's our controller, so um, you know she does all the finances, HR things, and, and with her, Brian Bicko, is our uh, billing. So if you get any, if you do have a statement, you have a question about your dues, your billing, yeah, you see something on your bill that doesn't make sense, you know, Brian or Maria is the person to call there. So please feel free to give them a call or an email. Um, and, and all their information is on the website as well. <clears throat> I'm Jared Stewart. Jared's been with us for about 10 years. He's our men's locker room attendant. Uh, great guy, once again, dedicated to the club, knows the membership, passionate about golf. On his days off, he, you'll see him out there caddying. In the wintertime, you'll see him up here doing clubhouse maintenance. So he'll, he's one of those guys who'll do anything that the club needs. Really, really great guy. So I encourage you to meet him. Uh, Mark Leppert, he's our ground superintendent. This is Mark's uh, second full season here, but he has over 20 years' experience, in, or 20 plus years. Uh, he worked at Indiana Country Club over the hill for 20 years. Uh, really, the, the course is incredible. You know, I don't have to tell you that. So um, he's done a phenomenal job and is doing a phenomenal job. So we're very, very thankful to have him here with us. Um, Chrissy Benell, Chrissy's our receptionist. Uh, Chrissy, as well, has been here 30 plus years. So she has a great club history, knows all the history of the club, knows anything. So if you have any questions, you know, as you make reservations, any questions about events and things like that, she's a great resource for you. So please, you know, she's at the front desk pretty much, you know, most days. Um, she can help you out. And Kelsey Rygard, you'll see her on the, in the dining rooms tonight. Um, she's been with us for about seven years, started as a server, became a bartender. Now she's a dining room and bar supervisor. So worked her way up through the ranks as well. Great worker. So some great people, and I only, I only touched the surface. There's a, you know, well over 100 employees here during the season, so you know, hopefully you'll get a chance to meet them and see what wonderful people they are. And once again, we're all dedicated to, to making your membership as special as can be. We love doing that. We love doing those special little touches, so anything we can do. Uh, moving to some of the amenities. Um, you know, some of the things we have, like I said, some, pe some people know we have them, some people don't. Um, we have a fitness center. We installed that a couple years now. That's actually right below us on the, on the first floor. Um, two rooms, we have a lot of uh, cardiovascular equipment, some weight training, some aerobic areas. That's open every day, even when the club is closed. It's actually only closed two days out of the year, Christmas Day and New Year's Day. Otherwise, it's open. So even if you see the club is closed, like on a Monday we close, it's open. And it's open at 5 a.m. every day. So our staff is here at 4.30 a.m. to open up the building, so you're more than welcome to come in. And we have quite a, quite a few people that come at 5, 5.30, so, um, so that's good. Our, our pools, you know, obviously we're getting those ready. Um, they open Memorial Day weekend, so we're, we're a couple weeks away from there. We actually have three pools. We have a one uh, lap pool, as we call it, the main pool. And we also have kind of unique a diving well. So it's a 10-foot deep diving well. It's a square, and they used to do actually high dive competitions off there. And it's a pretty neat thing. You know, for insurance reasons, we had to take the high dive away, unfortunately. But we still have a diving board, and the kids and some adults have a lot of times flipping around and into the diving tank there. And then we also have a baby pool. We have a baby pool area that's fully gated locked and secured so the parents can have there. Plenty of shade down there. We have a, a pool snack shop, uh, locker room facilities, both men's and ladies for day use. So, so that's a great thing. Uh, one thing I'll ask there is if you do use the pool, um, it, it's a health code regulation that all members and guests sign in. 
basically for, you know, if it's a disease or something, you know, I hate to say that, but that's why they do it. So, so if you could, we have a sign-in table down there. Uh, please sign in, sign your guests in. There's towels down there as well. That's where we hand those out. So we can get into the habit of signing in. That'd be really great. It helps us with staffing and usage as well. So if I could ask you there. Uh, right below us, actually, is our wine cellar. Um, you know, we installed that in 2006. It's been a great addition to the club. Um, I'm a little bit partial to it because I'm the sommelier here, the, the, the resident wine, as I call it. But uh, it's been a great thing. We do a lot of wine dinners here, a lot of high-end dinners, um, you know, a lot of wine pairings and things. So it's really allowed the club to, to buy some great wines and to store them properly. And then we also, in that wine cellar, we have member wine lockers. So if you want to store wine here at the club, we call it the Wine Society. You can have a membership. You get discounts on wine, discounts on corkage, and we can store your wine here for you. So if, you, if you're interested in that, please see me on site. We, it's a limited availability. But we can we can you know work to get you there. So um, tennis courts. A lot of people don't know we have tennis courts. They're actually right kind of diagonally there, off of number eighteen and in between number nine. We have two courts. Um, you know we have a tennis pro Mike Cush. He does lessons and clinics. So if you're interested in that, you know it's something. You know we're getting it cleaned up and ready for the season as we speak. So that should be operational here shortly. And uh, to, uh, we have a business center upstairs that's fairly new. Our colony room. Um, it's a small room, seats about 10 to 12. We can see more around the perimeter, but we have Wi-Fi up there, we have hardwired internet, um, webcam, we have a flat screen TV, so you can have a private uh, meeting in there. And a lot of our members use that for lunch, dinner meetings. Like I said, you have your own restrooms up there, you're completely private, nobody's gonna bother you, so it's a great, great resource um, for that. And speaking of Wi-Fi, the whole clubhouse is Wi-Fi, has covered with Wi-Fi, and last year we actually installed Wi-Fi that covers the pool area. So if you're down at the pool, you can bring your iPad, your iPhone, your, your, your phone, you can use Wi-Fi, anything Wi-Fi accessible. So, so hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, uh, just going into some opportunities, Tara will speak more on, on more of the banquet side. You know, obviously she, she's <coughs> best in that. But some of the things we also do that are in conjunction with some of our amenities at, at our pool, uh, Jay Hicks is our pool manager. He's been here for about 14 years now. Um, he's, a, he's a teacher of at Omos, so loves the kids. He also coaches at YMCA, coaches at the uh, Westmont Hilltop. He does swim lessons for the kids. So it's a great opportunity to bring your kids up. They're great teachers. Him and his lifeguards are great people. And they also have a swim team. So the kids want an activity to do during the summertime. You know, the Sunny Handle swim team is pretty strong. So we, we've, we've done very well in, in our local districts. So <clears throat> um, with the tennis court, Mike Cush does do tennis lessons in clinics. So if you or your kids, grandkids, anything, want some lessons, please contact Mike or, you know, contact me. I can get you in contact with him. But that's another thing that we can offer. Um, Carl and his crew do an amazing job with junior golf. So if you have little ones in the family that are getting into golf, that want to learn, they do great lessons. I'm sure Carl will talk more, but they, they do a phenomenal program of kind of stepping them up as they grow and as their game grows throughout the program. It's wonderful to see those kids evolve throughout the years. Um, we do tonight, Friday nights, we do family fun night where the kids come. We're doing it downstairs tonight, but pretty soon we're going to be doing it outside once the pool opens. You bring your kids up. Um, we occupy your kids. We play with them. We do crafts. We do games. You know, we don't watch your kids. We're not a daycare. We're not allowed to say that. Um, so the parents have to be an eye shot, but it gives you an opportunity to have a nice dinner you know, by yourself or so with friends, and your kids are right over there, but they're being entertained, they're, being, they're having a great time as well, so mom and dad can have a great time. Uh, what, like I said, we do it on the patio uh, during the summertime, and the kids run around the lawn, they do pool games, so it's a really great time. You'll see a lot of activity with that. And similarly, we have in July, uh, sports camp. Um, Tara's really uh, done a great job with that, that's grown every year. How many did we do last year? 67. 67 kids, amazing group. Um, we do different, we do uh, kayaking in the swimming pool, we do fishing down at the pond, we do tennis, golf, all kinds of different activities. It's all week long, um, 7 a.m. to like 1-ish, 2-ish, 2, and then we do a big party on Friday night. So the kids love it, and they have a great time with it. The parents love it because we you know, take care. And we, we employ teachers from Westmont and local area to help us with the kids, as well as our own uh, students who are basically taking that as their college career. So a great time with that. has grown tremendously over the years. So... Um, I'll end here with just a couple policies. We've got to talk a little bit rules and regulations, you know. But um, basically the policies, and this encompasses the whole club. I'll, I'll pretty much focus on the clubhouse here. But, you know, they're common sense. You know, you've all been out to great clubs and great resorts and things like that. So we're not, we're not strict by any means. You know, we have some rules and regulations, customs, if you will. You know, we want to keep some traditions true to Sunny Hanna. <clears throat> so they're, once again, they're all in your packet that was emailed to you. They're all on the website. Um, so you can refer to those at any time. Um, so a couple main topics I want to hit that some people have confusion about or, or sometimes forget. Uh, tonight you'll see, if you go back to the bar in the fairway, the fairway grill, we call it, is our main bar area. And that has the six tables in front of that. Back in 2004, we did a clubhouse renovation where there was a brick wall actually there. So the fairway was its own room, and then the, the room beside it was called the Horizon Room. Well, in 2004, we took that brick wall down to make it one big room. So the, the first six tables in the fairway, we like to, to keep those open for our members, open for the golfers, 
open for people, so we don't reserve those. So those tables are, are not reserved. Well, even on a busy night like tonight, you're more than welcome to eat there, but we can't hold it for you. <clears throat> and one thing is, um, because it, we want to keep them open for the golfers, maybe somebody hit an errant shot on the course, or maybe somebody lost a dollar or two on the course, we like to keep the kids off of those tables. So, sometimes some expletives fly, there's some drinking going on. So, uh, you know, it never happens here at Shirt Stories. But, uh, <coughs> you know, but so we do, any, any, any kids we like to keep to the horizon room or the lower room. So we can keep the, those areas clear there. And speaking of reservations, once again, you'll see tonight the, 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 the clubhouse is packed, which is a great thing. We're, we're, we love it. But when people walk in, you know, we, we, we don't have a table ready for you. We'd love to have a table ready for you. We want to welcome you. We don't want you to wait for a table. Um, and it also helps us with staffing. You know, you know, us as managers, you know, we take the fiduciary responsibility of this club very, very serious. You know, we're working with your money. So we want to do our best job in staffing so that, you know, if we have a great reservation system, we know who's coming, we know when they're coming, we can staff properly. So it really helps us out with that. And it helps your experience because you can come in and boom, your table's ready. It's watered, it's buttered. You're ready to go. You're not waiting around. The you know, servers aren't scrambling to get your table. You're not stuck in a corner because we had to fit you in. So anything you can do with reservations, we really appreciate it. And that also goes for club events, you know, golf events, clubhouse events. Um, because unfortunately, sometimes we've had to cancel some really great events because we just didn't work getting the reservations. And we have bans and expenses that if you know, we're not going to get the reservations, we're going to cancel them. Then the day of the event, we get an influx of reservations. It's already canceled, unfortunately. And we hate that. We love to do events. We want to do the events as much as possible. So, so the earlier you can reserve, the better we can do. We'd really, really appreciate that. And one minor thing I'll end here with is um, hats and cell phones. You know, you know uh, hats, hats are permitted in the clubhouse only in the fairway grill in the red room. So we ask that you take your hats off in the dining rooms, but, but they are available. You, know, you can, you know, as you come in from golf or something in the fairway downstairs in the red room bar. But otherwise, you know, in the dining rooms, just common, no courtesy. And in the dining rooms, we ask you not to have uh, conversations on your cell phone. If you want to text or check your website or something, by all means. But if you have a conversation, you can step in the hallway or something, or even outside now that the weather's turning. We really appreciate it. So, so <coughs> sounds good. Well, that's enough for me. I hope I didn't talk too fast there. I don't want to keep you from dinner too long. But uh, with that, I'll introduce uh, Mr. Yerger, Mr. John Yerger. He's the, uh, one of the co-chairs of the Sunny Hand Amateur. So that's uh, an amazing tournament. Hopefully you've all heard about it coming up, and we're really excited for it. So thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I'll try to be very, very brief. Um, uh, I think the, the best endorsement for the tournament really is if you walk the halls here. Uh, many people take for granted that we have, many of us have been members for a long time, take for granted seeing pictures of an Arnold Palmer at the age of 18, a Jack Nicklaus at the age of 16, Tiger Woods at the age of 16. The list goes on and on. Um, we are only one of two entities that have pictures of its history from the beginning to the end. It's ourselves and the United States Golf Association. That just shows you how rare um, the collection of photos we have here and really how exceptional our history is. We're the only tournament, other than the United States Amateur, that can have, claim to have Phil Mickelson, Tiger Woods, Jack Nicklaus, and Arnold Palmer play in this event. Uh, championship golf started at Sunny Hand in 1936. Sunny Hand Invitational ended in 1951 because there was a thing called a Calcutta, which was a gambling pool. People actually bid for players. Well, it was, it, they managed to keep it a private event, but then the gambling community managed to find a way to infiltrate it. And the purse one year was over $100,000. Well, you can figure on 1949 what kind of money that translates in today. They realized they had a problem, so they brought it to an end. Three years later, members of this club, Charlie Kunkel, uh, Howard Picking, and several others decided that they wanted to bring championship golf back to Sunny Hanna. And with that, the Sunny Hanna Amateur started. It was the first 72 home major uh, amateur tournament in the country and it's still going today. And if you think of all the changes that have gone on in this community, in this country, to have something to have a history that goes all the way back to 1954 is pretty, excuse me, 1951 is pretty incredible. Um, there's some really special aspects to this tournament. One that started uh, initially was that members would house players. Um, if you're interested in doing that, please let us know. It's an incredible experience. These are great young guys. Um, we have, we'll have this year our players coming from 16 other countries. Um, in fact, we'll have six players flying here from the Mexican amateur. One is the number one ranked player in the world. He's 18 years old. He's from Santiago, Chile, and he's excited to come here. Think about it. How many times the best in the world want to come from Peru or Chile or Mexico, Zimbabwe? So that tells you the significance of the tournament and its reputation within the game. Two years ago, the tournament became a nonprofit entity. Um, and with that, um, you now can make charitable donations, which cover several meals during the week of the tournament. Last year we donated $15,000 to Project Backpack, which provides weekend meals for children in our community that otherwise may go hungry. 
Uh, the bottom line, it's a great activity for our club. It certainly did something that establishes a national reputation for our club that um, is, you know, for a community this size, that you go to other countries <coughs> or other states, they know about Sunny Hanna Country Club because of the Sunny Hanna Amateur. It's great for our community and it's our great for our club. So we ask that you participate. Please come up. It's free of charge. Bring your friends. If you've got grandchildren, children, please bring them. The kids love having kids out here. I can assure you, when we were kids, everyone followed the players staying at their house. Regrettably, the first couple years, my parents' house, two couples, they were having their honeymoon in my parents' house. <laughs> <laughs> and they finished last. I wonder why. <laughs> But um, in all seriousness, we, we really appreciate the support of the membership, and we hope that you'll participate in the tournament and become a part of a great tradition. So thank you for joining Sunny Hand. It's great to have you here. And um, if you have any questions, Ernie, you know where to reach me and anyone else, please, please let us know. You know, we want you to be a, 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 a member and a participant in all the great activities that take place here. So thanks for your time. Uh, thank you very much, John. Um, Sunny Hand Amateur is uh, an amazing event, and I hope that you all will find a way to, to participate in some, some way. If it's just coming out and watching. Um, I grew up in Hawaii, as Ron alluded to, and even back in Hawaii, I knew about the Sunny Hand Amateur. Um, my college teammates, my mentor uh, played in it, and um, it's, it's, it's a really, really special event uh, in the world of golf. So. Uh, we appreciate uh, your support for it. Um, on behalf of the golf staff, I'd like to welcome you to Sunny Hanna Country Club. My name is Carl Seelman. Uh, just starting, just starting my fifth season here. Uh, it's it's a joy to, to serve you, and uh, we do our best to try to find something for everybody. Um, tonight, I'm going to try to go over uh, a few of the customs and etiquettes and procedures, along with uh, coming events and opportunities um, for for you to enjoy uh, Sunny Hanna Country Club. Um, I'll start. I'll start with the rules. <laughs> start with the means, the, the tough stuff, and then we'll get in. We'll get into the, the fun stuff. But uh, dress code and, and rules are important because it kind of sets a standard. Uh, Sunny Hanna is a special place. The members here, uh, that have been members for a long time, can remember how special it is, and it is a special place in the community. I kind of like to think it's like the cherry on top of the sundae uh, in Johnstown. It's a really special place. Um, so we want to we want to pay attention to these things. So uh, dress code uh, on the golf course. So collared shirts. Uh, keep your shirts tucked in, please. Uh, hats forward, um, and, and and be sure to and then no no jeans or athletic shorts. Just co common knowledge for the golfing community. Um, and it's it really saves a lot of embarrassment if you tell your guests if you bring a guest to let them know what the dress code is before before they come. Uh, if we see someone not in dress code, we do our best to be very respectful and, and not try to embarrass anybody. Um, and, and I'll even give you a discount in the shop to get some the proper attire on. Uh, but it, it just makes things a lot easier if everybody kind of knows what's going on before, before they come out. Um, for ladies, it's just uh, res respectful clothes, you know, nothing too short, nothing too exposing. Um, and we sell, we sell great clothes in the shop and, and uh, amongst things is we can always special order. Uh, sometimes our ladies selection, we have only very few ladies golfers, but we have tons of catalogs and tons of opportunities and trunk shows like we have Peter Maher today where we can order things for you so that you can have uh, an individual uh, personalized style because we want you to have style out there. Um, well, another thing that we do for, for dress code is we, we have locker rooms facilities. We have great locker room facilities uh, so you can get your own locker, you can keep your shoes in the locker. If you're bringing guests, they can borrow a locker for the day. So please ask your guests and please remember that um, we prefer that shoes, actually we don't prefer, we, we ask pretty seriously that shoes are changed in the locker room instead of a parking lot. It just adds to kind of the, the classy uh, approach that we're trying to have here at Sunny Hanna. Um, on, on the golf course, um, we, we ask that you be respectful of other golfers and the first way to be respectful is to, to make a tee time. Oftentimes we're not busy, and you can just show up without a tea time, and we'll accommodate you. It's not a problem at all. We want you to have fun, but to, if, especially if you're bringing guests, I highly recommend that you make a tea time. Uh, you can make a tea time by calling us, or we have a, a, a program called Four Teas. And uh, what I would like all of you to do is, if you, if you don't have the Four Teas, you can get on to Four Teas through the website, 
or you can come to the golf shop and we can help you so you can have it on your on your cell phone you know save it as a cell phone and you can make tea times at midnight you know whenever you want I'll make a tea time or check in my tea time uh, we make tea times seven days in advance and uh, so there's those are tea times um, if you're bringing a guest um, we ask you know that you, you show up a little bit early and we have a, a, a register we assign the guest in in the, in the pro shop um, we have a driving range and a short game area where you can warm up uh, before before you go out if you like or practice uh, don't even come out to play we have people that come out and just use the short game area and the driving range just as that's their golf experience at Sunny Hannah um, but but be sure to come out early enough if you're going to do it before before the round that uh, you have enough time to ride to the tee about five minutes early um, we, we do nine minute intervals uh, we at, there's times when we're pretty busy and we it's inconvenient for everyone around you if a little bit late for your tea time. So please show up to your tea time five minutes early. Check in the golf shop. That's that's good stuff. Um, on the golf course, our pace of play policy is uh, four hours, so it should take about two hours to play each nine. Um, this course is is a very playable course. Uh, really, not much out of bounds or water hazards. Just keep it in front of you, and um, but play play without delay, so you play within. You know the the time the time limit. Um, also, if if there is a if you're keeping up with the group in front of you, you're always going to be good. But if you're falling behind the group in front of you, and there's just a, there's some players behind you, it's very com it's very common just to let them play through, and that's very respectful. And and, and we do our best to help you. You know, um, if uh, we can if when you're making a tea time, if you if you have guests, we have times where. One member and three guests uh, are not allowed, so those are busy times. So you bring your three guests after those times, and usually you don't have to worry about pace of play as much. Okay. Um, on the golf course, uh, always be cognizant of the players behind you. So repair your pitch marks, fill your divots, rake your bunkers. Um, we have cart paths on the par threes. We actually keep the carts on the path in the par threes. But other than that, you're you're free to take the carts. Uh, out on the golf course. We keep them about 30 feet from the tees, 30 feet from the greens. Um, there's times when we're, we're too wet and we'll say that you have to keep them in the rough, but we'll, we'll let you know about that. And there's, there's signs out there. Um, uh, cell phones. You're welcome to use a cell phone on the course and take it with you, uh, but, but it's best to keep it on vibrate so it's not ringing in someone's backswing or something like that. And if you do have a conversation, uh, to politely excuse yourself and not to hold up play. So. I'm sorry, sorry if that's too preachy, but I just I want this. It, it, it the, the system works better if everybody's kind of kind of doing it. Um, and again, we're not going to be mean. We'll just kind of remind you politely. Okay. So now let's get to some of the the, the fun stuff. All right. Um, golf is a great social activity, and it's going to be a great way for you to meet other members. You know, you're meeting new members right here. Um, Come, come to the staff. Come to myself, Carl Seelman. Come to Chris Grinnell. Let us know, you know, who you are. You know, I like just to play for fun. Um, I don't like to gamble. Well, we got groups for you. Well, I, I like to have something on the line. We got groups for you. You know, um, I want to play with other couples. I want to play with other ladies. We, there, there are, are the members here are terrific, and they're very welcoming, and we would be happy to be the matchmaker to help you find to help you find the right groups. Going, going through the days. One way to think about Sunny Hannah is it, it cut, the, the days kind of seem to be the same. So Mondays are uh, either an outing. We have outings on Mondays, or it's it's a half day. Uh, the first tea time isn't available till one o'clock. So it's either closed or half day. So likewise, the driving range on a Monday won't be open till one o'clock. Uh, driving range typically open at eight o'clock and close uh, about eight. eight 8 o'clock in the morning to 8 p.m. in the evening. All right, so Mondays, outing days, or come out at 1 o'clock. Typically, if you wanted to bring guests, I would recommend that you don't do it on a Monday. If Mark is going to be doing some kind of top dressing or, or maintenance on the golf course, Monday's the day he's going to do it, and usually that stuff is settled in by he, he mows the greens on Tuesdays and everything's great. Okay. Tuesdays. Tuesdays is nine-hole ladies. We have a nine-hole lady group that goes off at 9 a.m., and their motto is, we like to have fun. Right, Donna? You have a lot of fun. All right? And they're very welcoming. 
So don't don't worry about any skill level. It's more like I kind of only have time for nine holes and I want to meet some ladies. Come join us. And you can sign up on four tees or call us. Um, Tuesday evenings, we have men's league. This is great, fellas. This is a great way to meet other guys. You sign up by Tuesday at 5 o'clock. We tee off at 5.30 p.m. We play nine holes. We mix people around, A, B, C, D. We play different games, fun games, a little $20 on the line. It's not going to hurt anybody, and it's a lot of fun. Wednesdays is 18-hole ladies' day. Um, they, they tee off at 9 o'clock typically, unless they have an event, uh, but they do a shotgun at 9 o'clock. 18-hole uh, ladies, they're a little bit more serious, but they're fun ladies too. But if you want to, don't laugh too hard. <laughs> They, 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 they have more competitive games, but this year we're doing more team games as well. So 18-hole ladies on, on Wednesdays. Wednesday evenings, we have a great program for beginning ladies. Uh, 5.30 to 7 o'clock, we have first swing clinics. Um, just, just, and that's what it means, first swing, although some of the ladies have done it for three years, but it's still the first swing clinics. It's all about being comfortable at the country club. This country club is for you too. And we teach you a little bit of golf, and the best part is the glass of wine at the end. That's the carrot <laughs> to get you through it. In conjunction that with this year, we have the Women of Wednesday. Wow. These ladies, uh, are most of them are graduates of First Swing, and either don't have time for the nine holes, or they still <coughs> just don't feel comfortable enough. They come out, and they don't even play a number of holes. They play time. They play from 5 o'clock to 6.55, and they can't wait to get their glass of wine and have a great dinner. Um, all, all, all women are welcome to join us for WOW as well. Even if you're a social member, you can play WOW. It's just a 10-hole uh, a cart fee. So it's a great way to get introduced to the game of golf. Be social with the club. This is a social club. Thursdays. Thursdays, once school gets out, is Junior Golf Day. We have a terrific Junior Golf program. Um, we have one holers, which is a misnomer. They actually play three holes on the driving range where we do a little clinic. We get them out there, help them with their basic skills. Then when they do well enough there, they advance to the three holers. They play 16, 17, 18. Then if they do, do well there, you get to play six holes, then nine holes, then 18 holes. So it's a, it's a great program. Um, we ask parents to, to, it used to be that you have to come out every time your kids showed up, you'd have to be there. We appreciate how busy schedules can be. So uh, we ask the parents just to come out two or three times, and we have volunteers. And if, if you're a good expert golfer and have some time and want to give time back, we appreciate uh, spotters and scorekeepers that don't have kids in the program. We have four or five of those that come out and help us. Uh, the kids are improving amazingly, and it's, a, it's an exciting program. Uh, I can't say enough about it. Thursday afternoons, we have a tee time restriction. There's only three days we have tee times restrictions. Uh, Thursday afternoons from 12 o'clock to 1.30 is for, it used to be called Doctor's Day, um, but you can only bring one member, one guest. So you can have two, two members, two guests in those times, but you couldn't bring one member and three guests. And part of it is it tends to be a busier time, and we want the pace to play to be smooth for the members. And, and if you bring in three guests, you come out after, you can take your time a little bit more. All right? Um, so that's Thursdays. Then the first Thursday of every month, except when the weather's bad, we have a ladies nine and wine. Um, this yesterday was a bad day, so you guess, guess what, ladies? You got a chance to do it next week. So next week, Thursday at 5:30, uh, they play nine holes scramble. So even if you're not a very good golfer, this is the best group where the the first swing ladies, the wow ladies, the nine hole ladies, the 18 hole ladies can all come together, play nine hole scramble and then come in and have a great dinner and laugh it up. It's great. Donna's come to a lot of those. They're fun. A lot of fun. Uh, Fridays is kind of uh, an open day. Uh, sometimes we'll run a skins game in the afternoon, but it's, it's an open day. Uh, there's some nine-hole ladies that have been going out around 9 o'clock, uh, but it's, it's open. Um, Saturdays, Saturdays and Sundays uh, before 10 a.m. is another it's a more high-volume time, so that would be another one-member, one-guest time. Uh, but Saturdays we'll run, we'll run some different games from the pro shop, optional games, uh, do the same thing on Sundays. But we also have a thing called the SWATS. The SWATS has a reservation of four tee times starting at 9.30. Again, fellas, if this, this is a great way. You don't have a game and you want to play, come out for the SWATS. Uh, you can sign up by calling the golf shop or online. And uh, what we do is 
Just because you're signed up with that foursome doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be playing with that foursome. We, we mix groups up, uh, we play different games, uh, and it's a lot of fun. Again, another $20 cash game. Uh, we do that Saturdays and Sundays and on holidays. So other things that we have going on, so that those are the days. So you can kind of remember that's kind of how you can organize your thinking. Um, the driving range uh, closes early on Wednesday and opens late on Thursday because we have to clean pick it and mow it. So what, so in your schedules, think Sundays, the range closes at 6 o'clock, and Wednesday, the range closes at 6 o'clock. Other than that, you can go till dark, you know, practice. It's fine. Uh, Short King area is always open. Um, we have club fitting systems where we can help you uh, fit you for brand new clubs. We offer a lot of lines in the shop. Um, you have great clothing. Again, special orders. If you if you like something, we're here to please. If you have something that you want, let us know. If we don't have your size or even a different vendor. I'll see if I can get it for you. Coming up, we have a Titleist uh, demo day, May 13th. On, uh, so that's next week, Saturday, 11 to 3 o'clock. We've also, because of bad weather schedule tomorrow, we're pushing our men's opening day to, to next week, Saturday. Uh, we have uh, a big demo day with four different vendors on Friday, May 26th, from 2 o'clock to 7 o'clock. We'll have some food and beverage down there, too. It's a great way to try title, I'm sorry, TaylorMade, Callaway, Cobra, Ping Clubs, all in one spot, one time. Then, for the real golf aficionado, we have PXG, which is like $500 in iron. But these clubs are amazing. They're coming here May 28th. Uh, they almost hit the ball for you. But what's the fun in that? Where's the challenge, right, Kenny? Uh, the other event that I really want you fellas to keep on your, in your agenda, in your mind, it's uh, in June. It's June 3rd and 4th. It's our men's member member. It's a really fun event. Uh, it's a partner event. We play five nine-hole matches. It's mirrored after our member guest. It's, it's a great time. So I could talk. I've already talked too long. You're glazed over. Ron's like pulling up my leg. All right, I'm sorry. So thank you all very much. Let me introduce Tara Carr. She's got the best job. She throws parties for a living. Yeah. Come on, Tara. Thank you all. Thank you, Carl. Hi there. I am, I guess, best for last. And even better than yes. that is I don't have any rules. <laughs> I am super lucky, like Carl said, I throw parties for a living. I'm actually, in my opinion, even luckier that I came back to Johnstown. I'm so blessed to be back here. I'm blessed to be in the position that I'm in to be able to give back to the amazing members of Sunny Hannah. I grew up here as a kid with my grandparents, so it's super cool, super, super cool. Um, I'm just going to very quickly go over some of the rules, uh, not rules, ha, huh, joking, rooms, <laughs> um, and just some of the little policies and whatnot. We'll kind of start at the top. We have, as Ron had mentioned, the media room. It's awesome. It is either super full or utterly available. Today I had someone call me at 11.10 saying, oh my gosh, I need a business meeting. Can I have the colony room? No problem. 12 o'clock, 50 minutes, they had their meeting room. It's great because it's completely integrated. The hardwire um, internet service, you can teleconference, you can video conference, everything. Across from there, we have the president's room. The president's room fits up to 100 people. That room is, I think, pretty special is because it has its own bar that's built into the walls. It's original from 90 years ago. It's absolutely beautiful. On this floor, we have our sunroom, which is a great room um, for smaller, more intimate things. It's also nice to use if you have something very large because it hooks right into the ballroom. On the other end, we have the Sunny Hannah room, the most picturesque room, no matter what the season. You overlook the first stairway now, you see the beautiful plush greens. In the fall, you see as many colors as Mother Nature can create. In the winter, the beautiful ice scapes on the trees, it's amazing. That room can fit up to 50. We do a lot of showers and christenings and whatnot in there. Um, and then downstairs, we have our wine room and our red room, which are amazing. If you want to have a hot date night, surprise Mrs. Peterson, give me a call and say, I would like to have an intimate dinner for two in front of the fireplace. No problem, I got you. If you want something a little nicer uh, for a group of people, a great wine dinner, we could put both rooms together. Again, that room has its own bar, original, beautiful woodwork. Have a great wine dinner in the wine room, cocktails and hors d'oeuvres in the red room, fabulous. Basically the point is, is that we have everything here. I could do anything for you, 
from simple to I want to have a wine dinner, no problem, we'll make it perfect. Or you want something very intricate and very personalized. We can uplight the walls. I can get special linens. Whatever you need, I've got it for you. Whether it's something that takes two years to plan or 40 minutes like this morning. Just give me a call. I can take care of whatever you need. Pam, that was easy. <laughs> All right, now everybody enjoy dinner. <laughs> I, mean, I, will, I will thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for attending. You know, hopefully we didn't keep you too long. Yeah, we get excited about what we do here, so sometimes we get a little long-winded. So, so please, thank you so much again. Enjoy your membership. Give us a call. Have a great time tonight. You yeah, have the Peter Millard Trunk Show still going on. Grab some cocktails. The buffet. We have a nice Italian buffet tonight. So, hope you all enjoy. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.